During the evening rush hour, traffic at this busy intersection in downtown Pittsburgh runs smoothly, with both drivers and pedestrians waiting not more than a minute or two. Instead of timing the lights on the basis of usual traffic patterns, video cameras and radars at each intersection monitor the traffic in real time. From that information that we take in, the system builds a prediction of when every vehicle it sees uh, through its detection is actually going to arrive at the intersection. And then based on that prediction, we, we uh, build a, what's called a timing plan, a plan for how the green is going to get distributed uh, to each, each approach um, in real time uh, and begin executing that plan. The system was created by a company called CERTRAC, stemming from a project started at Carnegie Mellon University's Robotic Institute. From an original nine smart street lights installed in 2013, this area of East Pittsburgh now has 50 interconnected intersections with another 150 planned during the next three years. Calculations show the travel time through the corridor improved by more than 25 percent. Not because vehicles were moving faster, but they were stopping 30 percent fewer times, and when they were stopping, they were idling 40 percent fewer uh, on average. Uh, we didn't actually measure uh, air quality by using a fuel consumption model. We sort of projected that we were reducing emissions uh, by 20 percent. Scientists say there is a lot of room for improvement. City buses, private cars, even cell phones may in the future be equipped with dedicated short-range communication, or DSRC, devices that will communicate with smart street lights. They are already experimenting with something that may help handicapped pedestrians safely cross the streets. It attaches to a, a smartphone, so that you talk, uh, it talks to the smartphone phone through Bluetooth and then talk the, it'll talk to the intersection through the DSRC. Smart street lights have also been installed in Atlanta and other U.S. cities are on track to upgrade their street lights. With self-driving cars already carrying customers throughout Pittsburgh, the city is rapidly becoming a hotbed of advanced traffic technology. George Putich, VOA News, Pittsburgh.